Hi, I am Ren Dunning. I attend computer science and software engineering at um, Gold Lake High School as a career and technical education course. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about a course that I did with um, a Sphero Bolt. And we coded it using, I think it's JavaScript, I believe, and we did it with uh, using Git Kraken, um, a text editor, and my virtual machine. And we used the, the Sphero EDU app on my partner's phone to um, enter the code and, and then execute it on the Sphero Bolt. So here I'm going to show you my commits and I'm going to show you a little bit about my code and then I'm going to display the video and I'll walk through the code as the video is playing and show you what steps are happening where. And yeah, so here I have my Git Kraken. You can see my different commits. I have my initial commit and my initial course commit and then added my name and my partner's name. And that's what you can see right here um, we started we started the program um, by establishing the function I put my name as the main programmer um, and then my partner was Keegan so I put his name um, Sphero Bolt program and we added the date there and that's the ID of our Sphero Bolt um, our specific bolt so that's what I did in those first three commits is I established those oops not sure why I did that let me open that back up real quick All right, there it is. And let me get this out of here. And then we had different um, colored dots on the course where um, when the, the bolt arrived at that dot, it had to turn to that color on its LED display. And that'll make more sense once I show you the video in a minute here. Um, and then there was also sound dots where we could input um, MP3s of any sound we wished, or we could make the, the bolt speak. And that would come out of the speakers on my partner's phone instead of um, the Sphero bolt. So. I have a start message here and it where it displays start right before it starts the course. Then it's gonna turn blue, then we play its first sound, then it turns red, then it plays its second sound, then it turns green, then it plays a third sound, and then it turns purple, and then that's the end of the course. So here you can see my code. Um, right here we uh, say await and then um, establish a text to display on its um, LED screen. It says start when it uh, when it boots up there, then it sets the main LED to green, as you can see in the hex code right here. Actually, that's not a hex code, but um, the name is uh, losing my memory right now. But yeah, we set it to green right there for the LED. And then when we say roll, it's going to roll. And so this first one is the degree of wh where it's rolling. So zero would be going straight forward. Um, and then 90 would be going to the right. 180 would be going backwards. And then two... 270, I believe, would be going to the left. Um, and that'll make more sense once I show you the video. And then you can put values in between those values, of course, to make it do a diagonal instead of just straight. Um, and then this middle value is the speed at which we're going. And we did it 50 for all the way through just to remain consistent. And then th this is in centimeters. This is the length of how long we want it to roll for. So we did 3.4 and for this one. And then th it's, it's differing for each one depending on, you know, the course. Um, and then the delay is, um, it's going to make it stop and delay for how many seconds we uh, told it to. And then when it says speak, we can put in um, what we want it to say, or we can put in a sound, um, and it'll play that. So that's a little bit of, of a debriefing of our code. Now let me show you the video. Let me open my file explorer on my main computer here. All right. So as you can see, this is the start of the course. This is our Sphero Bolt. This, this blue light is lit up so that on our app we can line it up um, correctly so that um, it's facing us and it knows it's starting in a universal position each time. Um, so there it says start. It's displaying the start and it turns green. And that's what we started up here. We said display start and then turn green. And now it's rolling in that zero degree, which is going to be straight forward. And then when we're turning right here, it's going to be a 90 degree. And that's um, universal for the entire course. It doesn't change as as you go. So like once it turns here and it's, it's facing this way, um, you wouldn't say zero to go forward. You would say 90. It gets a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, um, you know, once you get over the learning curve, it gets easier. So I'll do my best to explain it. So like I said, it's rolling. It's going to stop at this blue dot. And there it turned blue. So there it's, I said, uh, 90 for roll, so it's going to turn to the right, and it's going to proceed to the first sound dot. 
and now you can say it said hello world. That was our first choice of sound, and now it's going to proceed through this black tape. Again, this would be going 180 since it's going uh, quote unquote backwards. Um, and then it's going to take a little bit of a sharper degree here. I think this was a, a 220 degree. Yeah, you can see right over here in my code, this was a 220 degree. It's going to stop at the red dot and turn red. Turn. <laughs> turn again. And we had lots of issues with this little this part right here for some reason, just because um, we kept getting it to roll over the black tape here, but um, we eventually fixed it. And then it's arriving at the second sound dot, where it's going to say... I am sentient. We thought that was just a little silly because it's a, um, it's an AI, and so then it's gonna proceed through here and turn green right here. Comes up here through here, and this was I can't yeah 310 degree angle, and it gets thinner here. So this part was more difficult to avoid touching the black tape, but we did do it. And then it's going to stop at this third dot and play our third sound. And then straight through to the purple dot, turn purple, and that is the end of our course. So, as you can see, that's what we did with our Sphero Bolts. It was actually a very cool project. I enjoyed doing it. It was a lot easier than um, the flying drones because um, the Sphero Bolt didn't really have any... Um, issues with its programming like the um, the bolts I mean excuse me the drones did so it was a lot easier to work with and not have issues every single run um, and yeah it was super fun so thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one